everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're in my craft room, then welcome. Happy Wednesday, I think today is. I'm so confused this week, I don't even know what I'm doing. Um, it's so hot, and I figured what a better day to do a Christmas in July video. It is like a billion degrees outside. Everybody is pretty much in the same boat with this temperature stuff, but I figured let's make some snowy looking things and some fun little, like something in my eye, sorry, and some fun little projects. Um, so I'm going to be using some of these little round wooden rings from Dollar Tree. You get five of these in a pack. These are the bigger ones, and I have some of these smaller ones here. Um, these come six in a pack, these little wooden rings. Um, I'll show them to you better when I'm over by my desk. And we're also going to use some of these little wooden beads, all from Dollar Tree. These are going to be quick, easy, and just a fun little project. So I'm going to flip you guys over to my desk here, and let's get started. Alrighty, so first thing we're going to make is, well we're going to work on that wreath, but first I want to paint. I'm going to paint some of these little beads. Um, there's four different sizes in these bags, so I took three of the larger sizes, and we're going to make a little snowman dude out of these. Um, and they're going to actually hang on a string. I think I'm going to change up the string. I don't know if I don't care for this jute string in here. But it's way too long right now. I didn't cut it down yet. But we're going to make this little snowman. We're also going to make him a little hat. Because I think, you know, all snowmen need a little hat. So <laughs> I'll show you how we're going to do that real quick. And then we are going to make some of these really cute little wreaths. Now this is the one. I put jute string on here. This is just the jute from Dollar Tree. Um, but I don't really care for it too much on this wreath. And this can be used for an ornament. You could use this to hang off of a, a gift bag. Whatever you want to do with it. Um, there's just all kinds of little things. Add it to another craft DIY project that they're making or whatever. But I think I'm going to use this. I love using this crochet um, cotton. Different. They have so many different colors. And I like using that for a lot of ornaments and different things. So I think I'm going to use some of this white crochet cotton. You can get this stuff anywhere. Walmart. Uh, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, wherever you can, they have you know crocheting stuff. So to make this guy here, this thing is so simple to make, so so simple. Um, you just take one of these bigger wooden beads, and you're going to need two of the wired garland ties or some kind of pine stuff, whatever you might have. I just happen to have a bunch of these left over. Now, when I did the first one, I found out this stuff is just way way too thick for this. So all I did for this, I'm going to make a mess here, is I just, I already did two of them here, so I'm just going to do part of this one. I just gave these little guys a haircut on both sides, just to trim them down a little bit shorter. Um, otherwise, it was just way, way too, too bushy. And if there's any left over, we'll cut them off after we're done. And you really don't even any, need any glue to put these on. Let me get this out of my way. Here. Which is even better less hot glue you're using in this kind of weather either. So you're just going to take one of these large, these are the larger wooden rings, um, and just wrap your one end around there, and then you're just going to kind of just keep sewing these through. I mean, this is just such a simple little uh, project to do. I mean, you get something great you could do with the kids, whatever, to make little school gifts even for teachers or, you know, whatever. This is just a fun little project. but. If you want it to be real full, then you don't have to trim them down, but it was just like way, way too thick that you couldn't even tell <laughs> that there was a hole in the center of your wreath. So you're just going to keep wrapping them around there like that. And then if you want right here, you could put in your little tie that you're going to hang it with. Um, you can do it when you're done too. It really doesn't, let me pull this off here. Um, it really doesn't matter. I always make it extra long in case I want to cut something off. I just kind of fold it in half and then put it through here and then just pull it up through the, the little loop. And there you go. Your tie is on there. And then you can tie that as short, short or as long as you want it, you know, once you get it all done. So then that's already in there. You don't have to worry about that. And then we're just going to keep wrapping the second one on here. And there's just so many different ways you could decorate these little guys. I don't have all my Christmas stuff out. Obviously, it's still down in the garage in my bins where I store, you know, all my different holiday stuff. Because I can't keep everything here in my craft room. I wouldn't be able to walk. So I have shelves down there where I just pack up the Christmas stuff and put it down there until the next year. And then it just gives me some more room. So that's it. You're just going to keep wrapping and wrapping and wrapping and wrapping. And there you go. And I'm just going to put them all snug together. Alright. 
and there is the little wreath part. And you can glue those two pieces together too if you want to, just so they don't separate like this one's trying to on me. There we go, we'll just hold that there a second. Same thing down here on the bottom. Kind of needs like a little spring once you spin them around there. Alright. So we're just going to hold those there for one second. But see how some of them are really long yet? I am going to trim those out of there because, ugh, come on now, stay together. Um, it's just way too long, and I don't want it to cover up the whole center of this because I want it to look like a wreath. So you just give it a little haircut, and then some of these are too long, too. So we'll just trim those down, the ones that are really sticking up too far. There we go. All right, you stay in there now. All right. There. I think that looks pretty good. Some of these right here need to be trimmed yet. I can finish trimming these later. That's all it takes to make the wreath part. It's just that easy. I may have trimmed this one a little bit too short. So if you want to, wrap it all on there and then trim it afterwards to be on the safe side because this one's not quite as full as I made this one here. There we go. So I don't have any of my ribbons out. I was looking for a thin, like, red ribbon I wanted to put on here. But, of course, I don't have any of that up here either. So I just took some of this baker's twine from Dollar Tree, and I just kind of doubled it up and just made, like, a little double bow out of this. And, you know, just cut that in half then. And then just tie yourself a regular little bow. Little bow. There you go. I would have preferred ribbon, but <laughs> I said it figures. There's always one thing I don't have up here in this craft room, and I was just not going back down there to dig through my Christmas stuff. So we're going to make it do with this. But like I said, you put any color ribbon on here, whatever you want to do. It doesn't matter. And I want these kind of short, so I'm just going to glue this right in the center here by the top where you have your little hanger. And I'm just going to put that down. You see, stick this down here. I wasn't going to start this yet either. I'm like all over the place here today. I think the heat's getting to my brain. <laughs> I actually wanted to start painting those beads first. Well, we can do it later. You guys, I'll do it and then it'll only take a second off. You know, when I shut the camera, I'll bring it back on. It'll be fine. Yeah, I wanted to paint these first. But I got carried away with the wreath because I'm just too excited. <laughs> And then I have some of these little snowflakes. These I also get from AliExpress. Um, you get like hundreds of them in a bag for like, I don't know, sometimes you can get them for under a dollar. Um, and like I said, it can take three weeks to a month. Sometimes it takes a little longer to get this stuff, but if you order it now, you'll have all your stuff for Christmas. But you can't get a better price on this stuff. Some people said they had a lot of trouble with it. I've never had a problem with AliExpress. I've been ordering there for years. Um... So, that's where I get these little guys from. You can find them at Michael's or something, but you're going to pay like $4 for a little bag of them. Or, a little, you know, with like maybe 20 in there, where you can get like 100 of them for, sometimes, oops, like I said, sometimes under a dollar, and sometimes you can get free shipping too. A lot of times they offer free shipping. You just got to watch when you order from there, because, you know, there's so many different little stores that sell through there, so you just got to find the one that's selling it at free shipping or, you know, I don't even mind paying a dollar for shipping sometimes. All right, there, I'm going to put my little snowflakes on there. And then these little beads I got at Dollar Tree, there was three different sizes that came in these packs. So I'm just going to stick a few of these little beads on here. You can use whatever color you want. Um, but all my beads and things are downstairs. This is actually easier to put a dot of glue there and then drop your bead in it because you're less likely to burn your fingers that way. Just stick it right in the glue. I always try to leave the little holes to stay on the side too so you don't see the holes. And I think I need another one up here, don't I? And you could also, like, if you want to take some white paint and add a little. Um, like snow effect to your pine before you put it together, let it dry. That's always cool too. 
All right. So that is all I'm going to do to this little guy. Like I said, you could put whatever you want on these little guys. And I think these would look just so cute hanging off of a little uh, gift or whatever. Or if you wanted to add it to, you know, if you're making a Christmas DIY and you want to put a little tiny wreath in the middle, these would be actually really a perfect size. And I like the string much better than the jute on here, just because I think it's too thick, even though it's a thinner jute. But I really like this better. So I'm not going to cut this off yet, because I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to use this little guy for yet. So I am just going to leave my string as is. But that is it. That is all there is to making, whoops, sorry, these little wreaths. And I think they're adorable. And I got lots of glue webs, minus the glue webs, but we'll zap them off of there later. All right, now for our little snowman that we're going to make, our little hanging snowman, you're just going to want to, I put these on, these are actually chopsticks that someone had sent me, and I, <laughs> that was a wonderful idea, and these are great for doing little beads with, and then I just take one of these little vases here, and I stick them in here till they dry, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take some of this Waverly chalk paint. You could use acrylic paint, whatever you want to do. Um, and then we're just going to paint these little guys white. It's real quick, real easy. Actually, just kind of go around here and fill it in. It'd take like no time at all. If you're doing a lot of these, you could put them on these skewers and maybe spray paint them even quicker. But it's too hot to even go outside and spray paint anything right now. I don't want to. <laughs> Alright. So we're just going to paint all these little beads up here, and then after these dry, I'm probably going to give these two coats, though, because they're not just quite uh, white as I want them to be. So we're probably going to end up giving them two coats. So once I get those done, we will come back and put these little snowmen together, and I'll show you how I'm going to make the little snowman hat. Alright, my little beads are dry here. I've got to pop them off of my little chopsticks there. Get that out of my way. Set that back here. Alright, so I'm going to try to do this with a piece of this white cotton crochet stuff. I'm going to see if this is going to work. And to get these through these beads, I have to take a piece, little piece of like scotch tape and just wrap it around the end of it. Um, just makes your life a little bit easier getting them through here. And then I'm just going to cut that at an angle, so it's like a little needle. I hope I did that right. And then I'm actually going to start up at the top with the little bead that's going to be the head. And that goes right through there, and you don't want to lose it through here, so don't let it go all the way down. And then I'm going to take the medium size one and put that on here. I think I need a longer piece of tape on here. Or if you have a big needle, you could use that, too. I just don't have one here. Oh, come on, fingers. Get a hold of it. It's right there. There we go. And then, get it through this big one here at the bottom, for the bottom of the, our snowman. Yeah, I should have made it the tape longer. There we go. I got it. Alright, so now I'm going to cut off my little piece of tape, and we're just going to tie that into a knot. So I don't know if this is going to go through that hole, but if it's too big, this knot, or this hole, I'm just going to hot glue that in there. Yeah, that actually just came right off. Alright, now i got to get that back in there. So we're definitely going to have to hot glue this because that is just way, please go through. All right, let me restring this through here <laughs> since I pulled it out and um, then we'll finish. All right, I got him back through and then here is my little knot. I'm just gonna hold these here and I'm just gonna fill this little hole up with some hot glue. And that will set that knot in there nice. So I'm gonna let that sit until that cools. Let it sit here. So while that's cooling here, I realized I forgot to put my little star on here. These little star buttons I also got at Dollar Tree. They have a little hole in them so you could string it. They're like a bead, not a button. Um, and I'm going to put that little star right on top of my center of my little bow here. There we go. I just think that looks pretty on there. Alright, so 
something to do here while my glue is drying. <clears throat> it's so hot. I don't even know if it's going to dry that quick. But anyway, I think I'm going to put a little drop of glue here in the top too. Just so I make sure they don't come apart. I also want to put some in between. Because when you put your little faces and things on here, you don't want these to, you know, spin around on you. So, we're just going to glue those all together like that. And, oops, get in the center there. Alright, so while all that is cooling off, there we go. All the glue webs. There. We're going to make our little hat, is what we're going to do. So I didn't make one for this one, since this one I don't have to worry about. That jute string knot is fine on these little snowmen. And um, so we're going to make the little hat for this guy. Actually, I'm going to try to do two at one time. Let's see how that's going to work. So you're just going to want to cut out a little circle. Um, not too, too big. Just enough for, you know, like the brim of the hat. I'm going to try to get both of these cut out at the same time. And I like to just kind of spin things around and... Just close the scissors a little bit while you're spinning to make a circle. Let's see how that came out. Not very circly. Or if you have a punch, that would even be better. You could punch that out with. That one needs a little bitty hat. So there we go. So that is the little brim of the hat. And we're just going to cut a little hole in the center of it. You're going to fold it in half and just cut a little hole here. And just like so. And then you can put your string through that. Hopefully. I hope it didn't make this too small. So we're going to put our string right through that little hole. And then just pull the little hat down. all the string through the little hole. There we go. And you're just going to slide that down, take it down to your little snowman. And then we're going to add a little bit of glue to the top of his head here. And we'll do the face on the other one um, when we get done here. And you're just going to glue that little brim down. You can kind of shape it however you want to shape it. If you want it to come down or you could squeeze the sides. And I could have made that a little bit bigger. It'll be fine. So that is the brim of the hat. So then for the part of his little top hat we're going to make, we are just going to cut out a strip of this black felt, or whatever color you want to use. And I think what I'm going to use is one of those um, little sticks. The little um, chopsticks. That's what I'm trying to say here, guys. Alright, so we're going to add a little glue to that there, and then we're just going to wrap this around, maybe like three times, just to make it kind of a, a firm little thing. And then we can make this thing shorter or longer, whatever we want to do. And we're just going to glue that down, like so, and slide it off of our stick. See, that way we can put this right up on top. Now, I think that's going to be way too tall for his top hat. Yes, it is. <laughs> So we're going to cut this down. I think that will be much better. Alright, and then we're just going to stick our string through there. Slide it down. And then we're just going to add his little, just a little bit of glue there to hold it in place. And that's his little top hat. Ta-da! I think those are so cute. So cute and so easy to do. You could add a little snowflake to that if you want to. And try not to do what I did and get the seam in the front. Alright. Yeah, the little brim of his hat could have been a little bit bigger. But I still think he's cute. Alright, so maybe we'll make a little bit bigger one for the other guy. Yeah, because that's just a little bit. Actually, I'm going to take this one here and... Um, Use that kind of like as a guide if I can see what I'm doing and just make it a little bit bigger. Alright, I think 
think that's better. Alright, and I'm just going to cut a little hole here in the center. Like that. And we're going to put our string through there. And we're going to make a little hat for this guy. And we got to get the glue webs off this poor guy. Yeah, that works good if you put that glue down in there first. If your string is just a little too wide or too skinny, whatever you're using. So there, he's got a little bit of a bigger hat here. Let's see. I'm trying to figure out which one I want to be the front. Hmm, I don't know if I can get this glue off of here. It's going to be this side. All right. And I'm going to take this and make my little brim. Super easy. Roll that around about three times, and then glue it down. Sorry, I keep throwing my glue gun. I know sometimes people complain that that makes so much noise, and it's just such a habit when I'm, you know, doing things in here and trying to hurry. And maybe I'll cut this down a little bit more. All right, and then we're just going to stick that through here. Easy for me to say, right? <gasps> no, don't pull it apart. Alright, come on now. Why can't you just go through nice and easy for me? Hang on, let me get this back together here. Alright, I'm going to put a piece of tape on it. There you go. So much easier. Alright, and then we're just going to put a little bit of hot glue down here to glue the top of the hat down. And that's that. And there's his little, little bitty top hat. Alright, now for his face and stuff, all I did was I took a Sharpie. I actually have one of these. Um, these I get at the Dollar Tree. All of these actually I think I got at Dollar Tree. A little black one, and then I have this orange one for his nose. Um, but I just made a little bitty nose on there. So we're just going to take him and we're going to make a couple little eyeballs. Try to do this without holding it up close. Oh, hear the screaming in the background. That's little pig. He's mad because nobody's out there. And I like to put a few little dots here for his mouth. Give him a nice smile. And then I just colored in a few buttons on here. And just make one on here. There we go. And then the orange marker. Let me put the lid on this thing. <coughs> I just do that like right in the center. Just make like a little, kind of like almost like a little C. And then I just pull it out until it's a little carrot nose like that. And I think those are so cute. Like I said, you could use these for anything. You could hang them on packages or, you know, stick them in little arrangements, whatever you'd want to do. I just think they're really adorable. If you're given like a little Christmas gift in a, in a gift bag or something and just hang that little guy off of there. Or, you know, one of these little wreaths. But that is it. That was my little project. I thought it would be fun to make some snowmen today um, and some wreaths since it's so hot outside. And I'll get all the glue off of these. I'll take a nice picture of all these and put them at the end. But thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope everybody has a wonderful day. And you can all stay cool. And I will see you guys all next time. Have a great day, everyone.